Friends, on Sunday, the 10th of October, we celebrate Life, Marriage and Family Sunday here in our Archdiocese of Melbourne. This Sunday is a way of celebrating the sacrament of marriage and the vital role that families play in building up flourishing homes and to sustain our parishes and society. It's also worth noting that this year is, in fact, a Morris Laetitia family year, which was inspired by Pope Francis' apostolic exhortation on the joy of the gospel, a Morris Laetitia. The opening line of that document says this, the joy of love experienced by families is also the joy of the church. Well, this pandemic has highlighted for us the central role of the family as the domestic church. It's within the family that we are formed and nourished and can proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ through small gestures of love and healing. Importantly, the family is also where we witness the gift of life. And on this, I'd like to make a particular mention of families who lovingly care for their children with special needs, especially during the lockdown. People with disabilities are a gift of, for family and an opportunity to grow in love and compassion. Families who accept the presence of persons with special needs learn in a special way to recognise and ensure the quality and value of every human life. And by doing so, these families render the church and our society an invaluable witness of faithfulness to that gift of life, which is important in our throwaway culture of today. Now, originally, we would have gathered here in St. Patrick's Cathedral for the annual uh, Mass, celebration Mass, to commemorate the joy of marriage and to mark significant wedding anniversaries. This, unfortunately, is not possible this year. And so for those who are celebrating significant wedding anniversaries this year, I would like to offer you my own blessing and prayer today. And so I invite you just for a moment of silence... And so, and for this prayer, Lord God, loving Father, creator of everything, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning, you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You have blessed the union of these men and women gathered so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant, increase your love in them, and strengthen their bond of peace, so that surrounded by their family, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen.